Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Now, in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to build a semi auto and a full auto version of a nether word farm. Now, normally, these things are semi automatic where you click a button and all the water destroys all the crops. So, you have to manually kind of destroy the crops and then you have to manually replace it. And no one likes doing that. So, I decided to invent a system. That is one wide, so you can put infinite of these right next to each other. So you can have a hundred, you can have a thousand, you can have ten thousand if you really want to. Um, but basically, you place down the nether wart, okay? When you place it down, it detects what growth stage is in. And once it is fully grown, it will destroy it for you. And then, of course, you can be in a minecart that goes back and forth and auto replanting and collecting it. So, I'm going to place this down, I'm going to do a little bit of a speed time lapse to show you the system working through all the growth stages, and then during its final growth stage, it will be destroyed, and then I'll go into a tutorial, and then I'll show you guys how to make this system fully automatic. So, let's get into it. Okay guys, so there we have it. That is the system working. Now, I'm going to give you guys a tutorial, then I'll show you guys the auto. So that's going to be the video. So stay tuned for the entire video and watch it completely through. So yeah, let's get in to the tutorial. Okay guys, so for this tutorial, what you'll need is you'll need the one sticky piston, eight regular pistons, six redstone repeaters, one soul sand, 10 blocks of any type, I just have spruce planks, but you can use whatever you want. 27 observers and as much nether wart as needed. I, you only need one, but I recommend bringing a little bit more so you can play around with some of the features. So yeah, let's get in to the tutorial. Okay guys, so what you want to do is come along and place whatever block you brought. I brought spruce planks, but you can bring whatever you want. On top of that, you want to place down one sticky piston. And then right beside it, you want to place on the observer so that the eyes are facing this direction. So you have this L shape, or like a backwards L, depending what angle you're viewing it from. Then, you want to place on a repeater and have it set to 3 ticks. Then what you want to do is come off 9 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you want to have 9 of these blocks where they're both all facing this direction. Then what you want to do is you want to come off uh, three, four blocks, so one, two, three, four. You just want to place an observer actually right there so that there's three blocks gap. You don't want those. You just want the eyes facing this direction. Then you can come off on the bottom, place one, two, and then you might have to take down three. So you, the, you have three arrows that are all facing downwards and then one eye that's facing all the way back to that piston. Then what you want to do is you want to come off with the blocks you picked again, and then we want to do like a checkerboard pattern. So you want to come off one, two, three, four, five, and then you go with your pistons one, two, three, four. So like a checkerboard pattern. Then we'll do this again, but we're gonna actually have blocks on top one, two, three, four, and then instead of putting pistons there, we'll put observers facing upwards. So one two, three, four, five. So we get this checkered board effect. Then what you want to do is you want to place a repeater on top of each of these. So one, two, three, four, five. Yes, these might bump up. That's fine. You can just go down, put them down again, remove these. And then what you want to do is you want to come back to this observer, place one up so that the redstone dot is facing the top, and then place all the way through, uh, not all the way through, but I'm just have that like this, and then over where you have these blocks, you want to replace them with pistons. So like this, like that, so you have four pistons and then five observers. So then what you want to do is you want to come back here and go place so that there's one gap of soul sand. Then you want to place an observer one observer facing down, and one to the side. And I'm sorry, I actually removed this one by the piston. The piston should be the very last block. So that's it. We can test this by simulating. Place down one nether wart. See, okay, 
We can destroy it, simulating the first state, and the second state, the third state, and then the fourth state. And then when it destroys it, it resets it to set one. Now it's fully set. So you just have to do that with the nether word five times, and then you should have this one block here. That means that this one is empty. First state has grown, second state has grown, third state has grown. The fourth time, it reactivates the entire system. Okay, guys, that's the machine. Now, before you click away, I want to show you guys how to make this fully automatic. But first, thank you so much for my subscribers. We're almost at 250 subscribers, so if you can please hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed already, hit that like button if you like this video. And hit on notifications if you like these types of videos and want to see more. Now, to get into the automated part, what we want to do is you need powered rails, rails, any quantity you want. Depends how many of these machines you built. Uh, some random blocks, I just picked yellow ter terracotta, and then a redstone torch, minecart, and then some nether ward just to simulate the growing stages. So then what you want to do is you want to come off like right here. So you see how there's this piston and the soul sand. You want to place this block like right next to the gap. You just want a line. Depends how many machines you have, run it along. I do suggest that this machine does not make sense if you just want to build like around 10. It, that won't make sense. This machine is more meant for large AFK. Let's say you want to do it over like 100 blocks or like 200 blocks. Then this machine is reasonable because then it would work. So what you would want to do is have there a block at the end and then have a block at the end there. And then have here some powered rails. Depends if your line is longer, you do need more powered rails. And then I'm just going to place some regular rails down. Some redstone torches to power them. And then you would be in a minecart. So let's go here in a minecart to show you. And then you just hold right click. You have something that just holds right click. And you just be going back and forth. And this is where you just put like a heavy mouse on your like ma mouse. Like a heavy object or you just uh, switch it to a key have something hold it down so that right click is always held down as you can see it's already growing and then we just afk here and every time it gets destroyed you'll just replant the crop and that's how you would afk here and the items would just go into your inventory so to make sure that your inventory isn't that full when you do this types of afk so let me show you how this would look when there's more machines Okay guys, so I built more of these, Now I'm not sure if I explained this earlier, but the beauty of this design is that you can place as many as you want right next to each other, which means this works completely independently from this one, independent from this one, independent from this one, so they all can store the different states on which their nether wart has grown to. So this is how it would work, you'd get into your minecart, and of course you'd have more than this, or if you just want a small amount to see how it works, and then you just hold right click and you would go through and you might actually want to slow down the rails but you do eventually place them all down so and then this would detect and have everything see look they grow already so it's actually a pretty good system you can afk here and then this is how you'd be gathering your nether wart okay guys so i forgot to mention that i know in the tutorial i placed all of these blocks facing down but I didn't have this one up here. So make sure that the first one by this farthest piston is up. That there's a gap between this piston and that one. Because this basically says the machine is empty and doesn't have anything in it. If you have this at the bottom but it's empty, then it will never detect that it has been fully grown. And it will wait for a fifth state, which there isn't. The fifth state is basically it being empty. So you have to make sure that's it. But other than that... This is how the machine looks, and see already there is harvest, so you can like when you're AFKing there. Let's see if I get in the minecart. Yeah, see I collected the items, and then you just hold right click, and you just be placing them. And that's the great part about this. Let's say you have this over a large area, because it doesn't make sense to have it only over 10. Like yeah, if you want to AFK over now at night, it makes sense. But if you have this maybe over 100 or 200 blocks, yes, that's a lot of effort. But then this farm would actually be producing a crazy amount and you don't need to be by your computer. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And subscribe if you aren't subscribed. Hit that like button and the notification bell. But that is it for this video. Hope you liked. Goodbye and see you later.